Hello, I'm Julia Cordova. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel and liking my videos. I really appreciate it. So I did something a little different this week. I took the time to put my thoughts into writing and I published it so that you would have my thoughts and my charts in front of you all week long. You have the levels for easy access. So uh, I thought that I could just review um, just the basics of the newsletter and then point you at it. It'll be a link in the description here. Please sign up if you are interested in planning the week with me. But if not, that's okay too. I'll tell you here what I think is going to happen just without all those things. All right, ready? Whoop. All right. Okay. So first of all, this is my newsletter. I call it the money maker because, you know, shake your money maker, baby. Anywho, um, I collaborated with a guy called SL Macro. He's on Twitter. He has like 20 followers and he's great. Okay. Anyway, doesn't matter. So basically I start out just by summarizing the last week. And I talked about the fact that um, I had told you guys last week that I thought that ES or SPX futures was in a big old bull flag. And I gave you the resistance levels there. But I also expected that we would get some sort of pullback, which never freaking happened. It was like waiting for Godot. So I also talked about um, the levels that I gave for NQ. Guys, I got within to 50 cents of the high there. And not that many levels I discussed on the weekly, but yep sure did now same thing with rty or small caps i came within what is that point two um from the actual high there and then uh, i talked about being bullish gold silver and miners last week and i also took profit on gdx last week and then i live alerted you to that and i came very close to that high as well and then also for the xop chart i freaking nailed that too oh Anyway, so uh, I just basically uh, talked about that as well. And then I just gave you a summary of what happened so we could see. Look at all this and look at crypto, by the way. What in the world? You know what? And just a little educational thing. So I published the crypto charts on Telegram and, you know, it was in a, it, it was in a, BTC it was in an ascending uh, triangle, which is typically bullish. Not all the time. Sometimes they fail and then they're bearish. Yeah. But anyway, I knew that BTC was going to go to at least the top of the triangle. Do you know how I knew that? I barely, I very rarely say I know things. I think things, but I don't know them because I got actually on Telegram. Whenever you say, um, hey, this is what I think. And, you know, this is bullish. And then you get an actually it's bearish. The actually indicates the person doesn't know what they're talking about. So therefore you're correct. Usually. Usually. That's just okay. Anyway, um, look at gold and miners and silver this past week. They look great. And also energy. What in the world with our netty? Yay, us. Okay. So anyway, I then talk about what I expect to happen this week. And basically, I said that I took some off of GDX last week when we got near that um, resistance level that I talked about. I did that live um, for this week. I do believe that gold and oil have a good shot at closing the week lower. I know. And that is uh, not with the trend. OK, so I do later on in the in the uh, newsletter talk about what the levels are where i believe i'll be wrong but that's sort of my thesis for this week and then i talk about uh the fact that because we have mixed signals and es and nq are in bull flags but rty or small caps is in a giant bear flag i talk about sort of the levels to levels that i'm watching and all of those what my plan is and uh and then you know what I'm bullish natural gas. I hope it dumps this week so I can rebuy what I sold because I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, and then I go through each of the charts and talk about levels and all that stuff. So anyway, so I will put the link in the description if you would like to subscribe to it. That'd be fantastic. You certainly don't have to. It's all right with me. And I hope you have a great trading week and I will see you soon. I'll make myself big. Okay.